how's everybody doing you guys all hanging in there thank you so much for all the the links <laughs> um and just just so you know i'm i'm referring to my most recent video um with the playing cards um if you haven't watched that one go check it out watch it all the way through <laughs> to the end um and thank you guys for sharing all those links it's such a like i don't know it's just amazing um how many people are just coming into the fold you know um uh, with junk journaling it's just I don't know. It's just amazing. So just so you know, I am trying to figure out a way that I can um, share the list of uh, channels somewhere. You know, um, I'm thinking about starting a blog. I, you know, I'm just not, I have a hard time with commitment. So, <laughs> um, so I don't know. I might do that or maybe I'll just, you know, post it in my Facebook group too. I don't know. But yeah, so thank you for those and keep them coming. You know, if there's repeats, I'm, you know, I'm not listing them twice, but I am putting you in the, um, in the drawing. So anyway, yeah, go watch that video, you guys, if you haven't seen it. So I, this is going to be a long video. Okay. Because I've got 14 journals that I want to show you guys and they're all all a little bit different and I can't say you know that they're all the same except the covers because you know some of them are like four signatures some are seven some are nine you know and uh, like the charms are a little bit different on each of them and that kind of stuff but before I go any further let me just tell you that um, I've decided to run a sale in my Etsy shop and I think I'm going to do it for a week. So from today, which is what day is it? Tuesday. <laughs> so from the 31st through the 6th of um, April, I'm going to do my entire shop 20% off. Okay. That's still going to give you free shipping on, on things or shipping included on, on things. Um, and that kind of thing. And that's just because we're all going through tough times and financially, I know you guys are probably hurting and, you know, I guess I don't need to say, you know, I, I, my future is uncertain. So <laughs> I, I mean, not really, but you know, I mean, it's just a weird time. So I wanted to do that, um, you know, for those reasons, but also because I appreciate you guys so much. I really, really, really do. So, and hopefully things are going to be back to normal sooner than later. So, yeah, so let's just look at these journals and, you know, grab a cup of coffee and hang out and I will, I will go through them. And um, so what I did was I kind of, um, if you've watched some of my videos recently, I've been pulling out books that were extremely distressed and um kind of like i don't want to say restoring them but um uh, working on them and and trying to get them stabilized and sturdy enough to make into journals and so i wound up with uh 14 all together some of them really weren't that bad but i wanted to make them anyway so i i just kind of threw them in with this series so i'm calling this series um introspection and it's just because these books took me took me a couple weeks to to get done maybe close to three weeks and um just had a lot of you know since we've all been home so much and i'm just really you know trying to appreciate what i have and and where i am and um, you know, all of the good things in our lives and trying to be appreciative and grateful and thank you and, and thankful. So, and, and so, you know, just being very introspective and, um, 
at the same time looking for inspiration to to work you know so i'm really proud of myself that i got these done so anyway but um so i had a bunch of uh book jewelry listed in my shop too and so instead of making a bunch of new book jewelry or charms for these journals what i did was i just pulled um some of that stock and added them to a bunch of these journals some of these are um the anagram charm uh, charms that i showed on a previous video uh where i was like taking like custom orders for them which i'm so happy to do so if you see you know if there's a word that you would like to have made into a book charm uh, let me know and just send me an email for that and we can do it through PayPal and I'll just let you know what the pricing would be based on whatever the word is that you that you want so um, don't feel like you're obligated to actually do it until I actually send you a price okay all right so let's just look at the first one I mean you know I did pull papers kind of at the same time for all of these so I guess in a way a lot of them are uh, similar inside there's a lot of this uh, this paper from that book I don't remember it's a British floral book um, I had a really old encyclopedia set that I was able to copy some maps out of and um, so I did some maps of New York I printed these on that like uh, stationary paper that's it's it's sort of like onion skin it's a little thicker um and then i made a whole bunch of these like super tall skinny tags and um of course had to make had to make pockets for them right um you know these things sometimes you got to play with them to open them up um so i used some old uh some envelopes and they were like some oversized, like, um, invitation envelopes, um, that I wound up just cutting down the center to make these tall pockets. And then I just inserted, um, this one happens to have a glassine envelope stitched onto the front. And then I just stuck a tag in there. So I didn't put any toppers on any of the tags. And a lot of the reason for that is that they just get so bulky when I when I do that. And I wanted to be able to add more tags and stuff. So I actually had gone through a whole set of encyclopedias and pulled out a bunch of um, the like nature um, pictures and stuff. Especially like the ones that are like color plates where... You know it's like butterflies or birds or flowers or whatever and so i used some of those actual you know those are the original pages in these and then some of the bank letters some of the typed bank letters a lot of them have um you know handwriting and stuff on them you can see these are from like 1910 um 1910 1911 um some printed pages i used a bunch of um like flyleaf pages out of all the books that i've gutted so you know so you're going to get a variety of different types of paper from those um i did a set of journals a long time ago um that were the like children's poetry books and i saved the book blocks out of those so i pulled a whole bunch of poems out of those and and put them in these um this is from the bank ledger it's like the um you know like the register total and stuff that is actually a narcissus it doesn't look like it but yeah see and then some avocado paper pulled pages from five or six different botanical books and added them you know into each signature so <clears throat> i bought these um these puzzles on etsy from i can't remember the name of the shop i'll try to remember to to link it but there are these puzzles that are all different birds and this is how the puzzle was 
was cut when I got it. And so, yeah, so they go like that. And so I just copied them and then kind of recreated them. So they're like these long, skinny um, little journaling cards, I guess. I don't know. I just thought they were really cute. So so each one of these journals has has one of these uh, these puzzles in it. And I'll show you the other ones too. There's a duck and a swan and an Oriole and anyway. Um, so this one I believe has five signatures. Yeah, see there's the other side of the bird book page. Some onion skin uh, correspondence from the bank. This is a different uh, flower book. Pulled a bunch of pages out of uh, um, some art books too. So this is a Da Vinci book and I just made some pocket pages. Used some different types of ephemera, some bridge score sheets and then, you know, and some of it is really old ephemera. Some of it is not so old, but you know, it looks old. So all kind of vintagey. Um, some children's music pages. Um, so a lot of these are, you know, kind of nature themed. So like a leaf or a feather, that, that one is. Um, lots of them are, you know, birds and flowers and stuff. So some more bank ephemera. It's another, oh, fairies. Um, I had a library book that I just loved the the date due page that was in the in the front because look at how many stamps it has on it it just turned out really cool so I just copied it I don't think I'm going to get in any trouble with copyright on that hopefully um so I picked up some of these little um oh what do they call these things book darts yeah I got some book darts so they're like page markers. So if you're reading a book, um, you can just put that in where you where you left off, right? Um, they're kind of snug, so they're intended for, you know, like thinner paper. But I don't know. I just thought they were kind of cool. I got a small container of them because I wasn't sure um, if I would like them or not. But they're kind of cool. I got them on Amazon. So this is the assorted metals one. Um, and then I use those to close up this little bag of goodies. So, so I went through my, I have this box that's got all of this, you know, ephemera in it, all this little tiny ephemera. And so I just pulled a bunch of stuff out. I actually started um, like gluing and stapling this stuff into the journals. And then I decided... No, I'm just going to give them the stuff and they can put it wherever they want it, you know. Um, so this is from a set of uh, Denison, um, like, preserve labels that, that I got. And then some little, this is like a little transportation ticket from from the UK, I believe. This is some somebody's label I printed some ration stamps, a few pages from one of my little teeny tiny dictionaries. I think this is the Spanish one. I'm not sure. Um, some green stamps. And then I did some number stamps on some old Denison labels. So these are actual Denison labels. Um, there's a blank one. And then some more of the preserve labels. I have a couple sets of those so this is from a different set and then this is some printed ephemera that I actually bought I think I shared this shop um, last week sometime um, because I was looking for matchbook uh, labels and so these are just some matchbook labels that I actually printed off and just you know just cut them apart and then I thought it would be cute to just include a couple pieces of the um, that, that new Tim Holtz um, fabric tape. Okay, so this is on a backing. So the pack comes with two rolls of tape. So I just gave you a strip from, from each one in the, um, in the little envelope. 
Okay, so just some little just some little goodies that you can add to your pages. And then just close that up with a couple of these little book darts. Yeah, it's it's um they're not great for holding another page because they're so thin, like it's hard to get more than one piece of paper in there. So anyway, so there's a one of these little bundles in each journal. And then um, these little guys, I put I put one of these little um, these little packs of playing cards that I just glued some altered paper on the back. Okay, and then there's just a little piece of chain. Okay, so that, and then of course there's going to be you know stuff in all of the pockets. That's a little cancel. It's a canceled check and some like handmade paper um more little like children's book pages that have to do with nature this is some coffee dyed paper i'm not going to go through each one of these in this much detail but i will you know definitely show them all to you um it's another like um letter to the bank mushrooms <laughs> um this is a uh, one of the tags from um louise's shop that you can download and print all of these little mailing um or i don't know if they're for mailing yeah i guess so um wait um ah, what am i trying to say tickets um and then i have a bunch of these um library pockets that I've altered with the intent to glue them into journals but I thought it would be nice if you know you could decide where you want to glue that um, and then I just put a little tag in in those so some of these journals have a couple of these pockets some just have one some have different things in them and you know they're all kind of different I did stamp a couple of the little label stamps um, in each one some of these pages from the poetry book I trimmed shorter and then some I just folded them in in case you wanted to do like a like a tip in or something with that. And just some pretty cream color cardstock. Um, or no, it's not cardstock. It's a 32 pound uh, printer paper. So it's just really nice. It's super soft. Some pages from the garden bulbs in color book. Some of that ledger paper that is that you know kind of cool desk ledger and then this neat um flower family book where on the back since it the book is like printed in landscape um the back of each page is upside down so and then there's a little library pocket with a little tag with a mushroom from that beautiful german uh, botanical book that I need to show you guys. Um, I did some of these little, I guess, belly bands. Um, just took a strip of paper, um, something that I had printed or something. And then um, since I didn't want the other side to be upside down, I cut it in half and then flipped that side around and then used a piece of fabric to glue it back together. And then... Um, backed it with some coffee dyed paper and then I just put magnets um you know on the ends just to kind of hold it onto the page did some stitching on it um but just to you know because I never do those I never do like belly bands or anything so I thought okay well and this is sort of like um you could do it either way like you could put it on sideways or or vertical and it holds this stuff pretty well so you know um, this is some more of the labels that I bought from that um, from that shop. I guess I could link it again. Um, but yeah, the guy just has tons of really cool um, old ephemera that you can that you can download and print. Um, poetry book. It's just about texture and stuff, you know. I mean, that's that's what that's what I love to sort of play with is just like having like a rougher. This is like a watercolor paper from from a really pretty book. 
it's really a neat texture. It's, I think it is actually some kind of watercolor paper. And then have it next to this really soft, silky um, paper. Anyway, <clears throat> so I had altered some of these envelopes, these little tiny ones. And <laughs> as they were drying, I had them kind of stacked on top of each other. And the moisture from the glue on each one actually caused them all to seal themselves shut. So some of them are sealed shut, some are not. But um, if they did seal shut, I just cut the top off and made it into a little pocket. And then just stuck it in here with a paper clip. This is a ledger that I actually scanned and printed. And I'm telling you, it looks exactly the same. I mean, it's a little smaller, um, but it came out really nice. I was, I'm really glad that I decided to scan it because it's like for, um, for somebody who owns like a farm, you know, and so each page has a different heading because it's intended for a different use of, for, for the farm, you know, like for equipment or livestock or whatever. So it's just kind of fun. Um, and it was all blank. So <clears throat> this is a little fern image. I try to add like smaller things and larger things. And this is a handwritten letter to the bank. There's another, this is some of the ephemera that I also got from Louise that I printed on the onion skin. And then I got this set of, um, uh, like bird identification flashcards. Um, this one has a little collage tag. It's all kinds of goodies. Um, this is one of Liz's uh, printed images of fairies. It's another end page. This is the other side of that ledger. So this was the insurance. And then this is the monthly, some monthly summary of farm income. I just think those are so cool. And then I printed off a whole bunch of these old, um, these images that I've had in my, in, in a folder for a long time um, and printed them out and then just backed them on some ledger paper and cut them out. Made some tall skinny tags another one of the envelopes the library card library pockets another playing card with some I think I think she said that was cabbage dyed paper I can't remember if that's from ideas times two or if it was from um, oh my gosh I always forget people's names I shouldn't I shouldn't even try This is like a children's science book, like an elementary school science book talking about seeds. It's Tina, Tina Korsgaard. I know I, I knew I would remember if I stopped trying to remember. She sent me some beautiful paper. So I should email her. Tina, if you're watching this video, send me an email and let me know if you're offering your um, your, your dyed papers for sale anywhere. Okay. So that's, that's this one. Um, I don't, <laughs> oh boy, I forgot to number them. So, oops. Um, but you'll see, I mean this, you'll see the covers. If you know, if you see one that you're particularly like, you'll be able to recognize it by the color. They all get mixed up on Etsy anyways. I mean, in the order that they get listed, they all kind of rearrange themselves anyway. So you kind of have to go by the pictures. So sorry, they, they're all numbered, but I forgot to, um, I forgot to put the tags on these. So anyways, this one says noted is the, the anagram on this one. Okay. And then this guy, this one has one of the, um, you know, book charms that I made that I had listed in my shop. Um, so these have, there's like a little tiny picture of like somebody from my family. I don't know who it is. 
and then just some bead charms on different types of chain that I've kind of salvaged from jewelry. Um, so this is a an, a reader, a McGuffey's sixth sixth eclectic reader, and so it's a leather bound book, which is really cool. And then I did reinforce the spine pretty well with some fabric and uh, some of that bandage that I like to use. And, um, you know, it's got some wear and tear, but it's, you know, it's, it's good. Like, like I always say, these are old, old books, you know, so you kind of have to treat them like they're still old books, right? Um, but since this one was really worn along these outside edges, I just did like a, I actually stitched, hand stitched around the edges of this one. Um, on the front and the back. So it was kind of fun. I did it, you know, just with my awl. I just punched all the holes and then and then stitched it like a blanket stitch with the uh, wax linen. So, and then I did, of course, I did book corners on, on all of these. So some of them, they all have a, well, yeah, I think they all have a hitch post closure. Um, so if you get one that has the the um, seam binding or something, there's a little ring that hooks over the um, the hitch post. Um, yeah, so this one, I think this one's five signatures. Yeah. So here's the inside of that one. So yes, you know, they will be very similar inside. These tall skinny pockets, see it's just an envelope. Um, I didn't glue any of these in except for on that one because I used it as a um, as a front pocket. So these all have like a tall skinny tag in them. And you could glue them in somewhere if you want to. Not all of them have the, um, the glassine envelope on the front. But, but some of them do. And that one I think is covered with some ledger paper. And then all of that jewelry that I got uh, from Donna Little um, that I traded um, from her, I took it all apart and I started just pulling out things that I thought I could use for charms. So all of the charms that are on the tabs in these came from that jewelry that I got from her. They're just little pieces, little elements from different like earrings and things like that. So it's all like repurposed stuff which I think is kind of fun <clears throat> yeah so yeah you'll see it is kind of similar but this is the little belly band on this one with the little tag in there little steamer trunk tag another one of the labels from Louise um, this one has a map of New York also. I think there was New York and Paris and London and maybe one other city. I can't remember. So you do get at least a few of these collage tags, you know, three or four at least, I, I think. Pretty sure. Maybe seven. Um, and this one just has the simple little tag in it. Okay, so that's that one. Use the little ring. So you could adjust this as, you know, as it gets thicker or if you wind up like taking all of the ephemera stuff out, like the tags and stuff out, you might want it to be a little bit tighter. So just, you know, just retie the bow, you know. Um, so that's the Eclectic Reader. Um, this one is the one that I actually did on camera where I was gluing the spine all back together and stuff. And um, <laughs> I'm just really happy with this one. <laughs> so I wanted it to have like a really cool charm. And so I put the word breathe on this one. So this one's got all these really cool funky beads and stuff. And these are all on clasps, by the way. So you can take these off really easily, you know, if it's just too much for you and you don't want to deal with that big giant, you know, charm on there, just, just take it off and put it on something else if you want. And then all of the chain that I used 
um, as closures on these also came from that jewelry from Donna. So really cool. Just, I got a bunch of chain from her and uh, it just makes me happy because I use it a lot. Um, this is one of those little like electrical things that it looks like a key, but it's not. It's like for wiring, like you would stick your wire in that and then crimp it down and then put this this is where you would attach it to whatever with a screw. Um, so this also has some stitching around the outside of the cover. Um, where it wasn't too bad, I didn't do the stitching. But like I did a little bit there, a little bit there, and then the bottom. So, you know, these are pretty sturdy. But, you know, these are going to be like soft cover journals. You know, they're not, they're not going to be like like hard, stiff spines. So just remember that they're, they're kind of flexible and soft. Um, and I tried to leave as much as of the inside, you know, if I thought that the cover, the inside cover was cool, I tried to leave as much of it as I could. Um, this one has the map of Paris and then a little, there's a little tag in there. This pocket's kind of tight, so I don't want to like fight with it. Um, yeah, so this is, chickens these are just very junky lots of different stuff you know I just pulled paper and pages from all kinds of different places you know just all kinds of so I think you'll have fun just going through them and um, you know pulling everything out and um, playing with your little envelope of ephemera and gluing that stuff in um, so, so some of those envelopes, I was able to get them open. You can see it kind of stuck a little bit, but if I was able to get them open easily, then I just added a little, a couple little cards inside and then it's just closed with a, with a paper clip. I have this like, um, it was like a long strip of, uh, postcard images and so I just, you know, tore that apart. There was like 10 or so. Use some of those. Some more letters to the bank. And you can see the staple staple holes. So here's the little belly band. This is a page from um, like an old notebook, like a little pocketbook. A little accounting page. And there's space in between each signature. So there's, you know, there's definitely some room to grow. Uh, here's the tall tag in this one. There's that one. And then this one has my favorite mushroom image. I just love that mushroom. It looks like a, I don't know, it's so mushroomy. <clears throat> Okay, and then I still had a whole bunch of these envelopes that I had made a long time ago um, that just, uh, they're avocado dyed envelopes. And, you know, I just, whoops, that is stuck a little bit. I'll have to work on that one. I'll set that aside and work on that one. Um, yeah, so these avocado dyed envelopes, and then I just covered the the flaps with some ledger paper and did some stitching on them. So I will get that open. And then this, um, I glued it on just three sides. So it's like a, so it's like a pocket just makes it more useful, you know? Oh, and these are so cool. These big, um, like hitch posts. I can't remember what they call these, but I was so happy when I found them on Amazon in all different sizes. So like, these are way bigger than the regular, like, Tim Holtz hitch posts and they're way cheaper. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Actually, they're not cheaper, but, um, but you can buy more at one time and I don't know, find different sellers and stuff. You can, you can probably find better deals than the Tim Holtz is what I'm trying to say. These bigger ones were, were not like dirt cheap. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. So I better set that one aside because I do want to fix that pocket. Um, 
Okay, and then this one is one that I actually did the book tape on and <laughs> just, you know, kind of here and there, like uh, wherever I felt like it needed a Band-Aid, I, I gave it some book tape, you know. Um, so this one has a charm, an anagram charm. Um, that's the word fly. And there's a little butterfly on there and some bells and beads and stuff. And some more of that chain from Donna. And see, there was this writing on the inside of this one. So I just wanted to leave that and kind of preserve that for forever, you know. Um, there's the tall tag in this one. Just paper clipped in. It's a piece of avocado dyed paper that kind of got torn on the edge, but... You know, I just left it anyways. Just a little map. I don't think this one has the name on it. Oh, this is New York. There's the little envelope of goodies. Um, this was really cool paper that I found in a ledger. There's some more just... You know, like I said, there's some new, some old, uh, mostly old, but just different little things that you can write with or that you can write on. And here's the puzzle in this one. This one is the swan. So just little, you know, I just glued them on to um, craft cardstock. This one's the pigeon. Wait, is that a pigeon or is that a dove? Oh, it's a dove. Okay. <laughs> I was going to say, wow, that was weird if it was pigeon and then I put a pigeon in there. Because that would not have been intentional. Sometimes it's funny, the little things that just happen to be like that, you know, that sort of like correlate, you know. Um Anyways, I, I printed off a lot of these little, um, these little labels. I think it's like rare paper or something. I'll, I'll put a link in the description to his, um, his Etsy shop, but yeah, I, I bought a bunch of his listings because I don't know, like I was just, I just went crazy because they just look so useful. You know, I want to use some to make like charms and, and little tags and stuff. Other types of little tags, I mean. So see, look at this. is just a little tiny charm from an earring. And then I just added it, um, a little piece of chain on there with a couple jump rings. So this is like, when I get to that point where I'm doing like charms on tabs, I know I'm it's coming to a close. Like I'm just about done with the journals. And that kind of helps me sort of slow down so I can just really savor doing that because that's one of my favorite things to do is is adding charms and stuff so okay and there's the back um so the chain on these for your closure is longer than what you need to close it so if it does wind up getting thicker um you just need to move that little jump ring on this particular chain some of them it's not you know, the class, it has a clasp is what I'm trying to say. There's a clasp on there holding it together. So you can always move that to make the chain a little longer if you need it. And I left some extra. So, so you have extra chain. Okay. So there's that one. And then this is the French, modern French course. Um, this one also says fly. And if you are waiting for one of these um, anagram charms from me, those are getting finished tonight, I think. Um, so, yeah. So, here's the inside of this one. I should probably try to hurry up because this is going to be a really, really long video. Um, I love that little label in the back.
yeah, there's not a whole lot else I can say, I guess. But, oh, there's some of those tags that I made using the pages from those old little um, pocketbooks that I, I just glued them onto some cardstock. And actually, that's a file folder. Um, but, yeah, I love these little, because that's the original, you know. Um, that's not, that's not a copy. So, anyway, I just love that. I love seeing that in in journals, you know, the actual thing, the real deal. It's a little flash card and the little goodies. Okay, so that's that one. I wish I knew the numbers on these, you guys. I'm really sorry, but you'll see them. You'll see them. Don't forget, everything is tw is going to be 20% off. Um, and you know, I don't know if you guys know this, but anybody who makes a purchase in my Etsy shop, uh, I have a promotion set up that I've had set up for a long, long time so that if you make a purchase, you automatically are sent a coupon for 15% off your next purchase. So, you know what I mean? That won't work if I already have everything on sale, but, you know, just for future reference. Um, you know, look for that. If you make a purchase, look at your emails, you know, in the next day or so, because you probably get a coupon. So anyway, um, so this is a French reader for beginners and there's another piece of chain on there. And this one happens to have a little Eiffel tower charm. Um, I did just some little pieces of sorry silk on some of these. Um, but this one has the map of Paris in it, of course. This is a different map of Paris than, than the one that I had in the minis. And there's the goodies. And the tall tag. A lot of the charms that I used on these are just these little faceted beads. That came off of different earrings. They're so pretty. I love them. There's a pink one and there's a turquoise one. So. So there's a, you know, belly band in each one with the magnets. Each one has one of these little guys. Um, you know, a lot of them have all the same elements, but, you know, just different. So like. A lot of them I glued this envelope in to the back, but, you know, sometimes it didn't fit or something, and so I just wound up paper clipping it in there so you would at least have it, you know. I mean, you could put it in another journal or something if you wanted to, or whatever. Just take it out and do whatever you want with it. Um, but yeah, so there's there's that one. Oh my gosh, there's so many more. Um, and then this is a, an old reader. So here's the charm on this one. Oh my God, are we having an earthquake? I don't know why my camera just moved all of a sudden. <clears throat> I've We've had a few earthquakes here in Spokane, so <laughs> wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> Would not surprise me. One night, one time we had an earthquake and I seriously thought someone was trying to climb in bed with me. I was like, who is trying to get in my bed? Because my bed was shaking. <clears throat> and I have to tell you guys something super funny. I'm just kind of flipping through this journal. But I love to leave some of the, you know, if there's interesting stuff on the cover, I like to leave it, you know. Like, if somebody wrote on it, I like to leave that, you know? So this one has the duck puzzle. But I have to tell you guys something super funny. I was talking to Sammy last night, and <clears throat> we were, I don't know, remember, I don't remember what we were talking about, but I said something about that I needed a bookkeeper. And he said, no, you just need some uh, standardized shelving, Mommy. I thought that was so funny. If you could see my shelves, my bookshelves. <laughs> Anyway, Sammy's 19. I don't know if he knows what a bookkeeper is. <laughs> anyway, or he was just being funny. 
I said, he said, you just need standardized shelving. <laughs> so this is the uh, Latin book. And, and whoever had this book before, they um, wrote over the word it with pencil. So you could see the pencil is still on there. <clears throat> and a lot of these I actually did spray with a clear coat um, that has a matte finish. So you can't, it's not like shiny or anything. And just to kind of seal them a little bit. I sort of started doing that recently just because, you know, I feel like I should. But sometimes I don't, but sometimes I do. Anyway, so this is the little cards. I love doing these. These were fun to make. Um, yeah, the woodpecker. See, I didn't pull them unless they had some kind of nature-y thing. And a little tag. Okay, so this is the, the elementary Latin book. It's a really cool color, too. It's kind of like a, a neat rust color, and it matched. And I happen to have eyelets that matched, like, perfect. So... Anyway, just thought I'd point that out. Um, and then this one was an old math book, the Columbian Complete Arithmetic. So it's got this really beautiful, like, floral, like, botanical kind of um, border on it. And then some embossing on the back. And here's the, the charm. It's got another one of the little pictures and... Really pretty sparkly beads and stuff. And then there's the chain with, with a clasp. So you can definitely make it longer if you need to. And um, yeah, this one has the map of New York. Shout out to New York, New Jersey. You guys, all my thoughts are with you. Tough times. Um... Yeah, I loved using all of those little bits from the earrings and stuff. So fun. If you guys ever see a bag of, like, junk jewelry in the thrift store or something, a lot of times I just bag it all up, especially if it's all tangled. Um, they don't feel like, you know, they don't feel like sorting all that out. But look at the drawing in the back of this one. Isn't that awesome? I love it. Um, anyway, they don't feel like sorting all that stuff out. So sometimes I just shove it in a bag and sell the bag, you know, pick it up. It's really fun to, to kind of sort, sort that stuff out and, you know, um, harvest from it, you know, anyway, so there's this one, this one's the math book and this one's five signatures. Um, okay. And then this is the Dickens works and <clears throat> I love this bead on this one just love that bead. Um, there's a picture of my great grandma on her front porch on in this picture. So um, <laughs> anyway, yeah, so five signatures uh, with the book play or the book corners. And this book cover is just gorgeous. Look at all that embossing and stuff. And it's in actually really good shape. Um, so this one, I had made these envelopes a long time ago. These are the policy envelopes. And I just had a couple of them left over. So I put one in here. It's got a map of London right here. A little playing card and then a luggage tag. So, yeah. And look at this beautiful piece that came off of, the, off of a, an earring that was in that jewelry. It's just gorgeous super sparkly and pretty there's the little goodies and there are some mrs cogs images i did use some tracy fox labels and some of the label stamps and all kinds of stuff so you guys know Okay. Oh, here's the back. So this one has the envelope glued in the back. Okay, so that's the Dickens one. 
I wish I could remember the numbers. Um, so the next four are the last four. And um, these are all the like larger ones. I don't know, maybe I should have shown these in the beginning, but so I'll do it like this. So the physics book and the chemistry book are both very similar, except for the physics book is considerably larger. <laughs> it's got a lot more going on. It's got a lot more inside of it. So it's, I believe it's nine signatures and the chemistry one is seven. Okay. So this, the chemistry book has miscellaneous. So it's M-I-S-C is the, the anagram charm. Okay. There's a little owl on there. And, um, so you can see, uh, you can see there's 10 pictures in each listing. So you can see inside each journal. I'm feeling like pressured about the time now for some reason. Um, and then I'll just kind of flip through the physics one real quick. Just because it's like massive. It's 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 a large journal. Um, but yeah. So it's all, you know, very similar to the other journals. But mo of it. <laughs> I want mo of it. Okay. And so in this one, I had actually gone in and started you know, gluing in little bits and stuff. Like I added a label on there and things like that. And that, this is when I decided, okay, I'm just going to let them do it. <laughs> you know, like I put a ticket on there, and, um, that kind of stuff. So I, that, at that point I just made up the little bags and, and put one in each journal. Okay. So this one has the little bag of goodies in it as well. Um, but yeah, look at all that. I love doing this. And this one does have a hidden spine. So, um, so I, cause I didn't want to stitch through the, the spine on this one for some reason. I was just trying to preserve the look of it, like being a physics textbook. Um, and then this one says on a whim is the, is the, um, the anagram on this one. So O N A W H I M. Okay. <laughs> I love that one. Okay. And then these two, well, this one is, um, the mythology book that I have had for a long time. I've had this book cover for a long time and I've, I've really wanted to make it into a journal for quite a while, but had never gotten around to it. So it just kind of came into the fold on this, uh, on this journal series. Uh, there's my grandma and grandpa in that picture. And look at this beautiful glass bead. It's like, um, it's done in a mold. It's really pretty. And this one has the oversized, um, like hitch post. So this one's a little bit larger here. I've got my ruler right next to me and I haven't measured one journal. Um, so this one is eight and a half by about six by mm, about an inch and a half at the spine. Of course, it's alligatored a little bit just because it's, it's five signatures. Um, but it's because of the tags and stuff that I added in. It just got a little chunky. So, but you know what? I don't mind that. Like, I think that's fine. <laughs> it just means there's more in there, you know? Um, and this is the library card that matches that little due date card that I, that I copied. I hope I don't wind up going to jail for that, but whatever. Um, yeah, so this is the mythology book. And this, this one is just uh, paper clipped in. So yeah, I've never done a flip through video that was like, over an hour, have I? Um, but look, it has that really pretty butterfly on the, on the chain. I don't know. I just love like decorating the outside of books lately. <clears throat> okay. And then this one, <laughs> this one is a beast. 
she is fat and fluffy. Um, and then this is um, two of my dad's aunts in that picture. And then there's a little crystal from my the other side of my family, my mom's uh, chandelier. I got all the crystals from her chandelier at some point. So, yeah. So there's some of my family on there. And then there's the little uh, envelope at the front. So you'll notice that this one has a hole in it right there where I put the, the hitch post on. I didn't even look inside when I was putting it on and accidentally punched right through this envelope. <laughs> so I had to kind of play with it. So anyway, so the screw to the back of this is actually on the inside of the envelope, but you can see it through the outside. So anyway, there wasn't anything I could do about it after that happened. And so that just is the way it is. We'll just say it adds character, right? And then there's the little um, collage tag. Um, so yeah, this is another one where I had gone in and started adding some extra little bits of ephemera and stuff. So the spine on this one is pretty, it's pretty soft. It's soft. It's flexible. Okay. Um, but it's really sturdy. I did stitch through the spine, three whole pamphlet stitch, nine signatures. I had done some, um, some mach machine stitching around on the spine on this one. Um, it was just, the cover was too thick for me to run it through my, my machine. I would have liked to have been able to go around the border with some machine stitching on this, but it was just too thick and it's really heavy book board. So anyway, um, back to the inside. So see, I had started adding some little tags and stuff, little labels and whatnot. Um, this one I think has two puzzles in it. So it's got the finch and then I think it has the swan, uh, one of the larger ones. One of the larger puzzles. There's a Mrs. Cog's image of some bees. Uh, there's a little ticket. So, yeah, <laughs> lots of stuff in here. So, some of these pages wound up being a little bit too wide after I got the book bound. So, to combat that, I just cut it. when, And I already had the, um, the tabs on. So, I just cut cut the page off and then added another strip with the tab on there so anyway so some of them don't match exactly but that doesn't matter there's a the little goodies see this got the little airmail label did a little tiny little collage right there the book page and a little label or something so i just you know i thought okay if i sat here and did that with all of these journals I probably would have never gotten them done. I, I would have just gone crazy. So this is a little ticket that's stapled on. Some bir birds and bees and butterflies and flowers and all kinds of nature-y stuff. Even some like farmhouse, schoolhouse kind of stuff. Just very, very junky and super, super fun. And I really just took my time making these and made them how I wanted them to be you know, uh, which is, which is what I should be doing anyway. And for the most part I do, but sometimes, um, you know, I'm just trying to get them done, you know, but, but these, I just, I just felt very relaxed and introspective and almost meditative sort of when I was working on these. So it was really nice to have, um, kind of a longer project to be working on during our sort of voluntary isolation, right? So, yeah. So this one, I believe, is number one in the in the listings. And I think this one's number two. And then this is three. And I think four. After that, I can't remember. But I do think this one's number five, to be honest. Anyway, so there is my introspection series of junk journals that I just listed. So yeah, so check them out, you guys. And like I said, my entire shop is 
20% off for a week. So through the 6th of April. And thank you guys so much for, for watching and for all your support and for your love. I do appreciate it. And um, yeah, and thank you for all the links on the playing card video. Right on. Okay. Love you guys. Bye for now.